Hello and welcome to Episode 8 of the PEI Department of Education Arduino Starter Kit. This is the exciting day. We're taking two components and combining them together so we can build something cool. We're going to take the button and use it. When you press the button, it's going to move the servo. And there are lots and lots of things you can build with a button and a servo. And I'll leave that to your imagination. Today, we're going to look at how the code actually combines together. It's actually pretty easy. So we look over here on our sweep side. We'll take the servo. We're going to copy it into the button code. So let's go over here. You see where it says include servo H and servo penguin. And we named it servo penguin in a previous episode. So we're going to copy that, bring it over here, and paste it into the button code. We can just copy and paste this code together. It's in the top section, and we normally have the include code at the very top. Then we have servo penguin here. We're going to put a little bit of space between that and the next one. Now you can see the next section says const int. These are constant integers. That means that button pin here will always be 2 for this whole episode. An LED pin is 13. And if you remember back a couple of episodes, you'll remember that LED pin 13 is the light that's on the Arduino itself. Now let's look over here back to the sweep code and we'll see that we have one more variable we need to bring over. It's POS equals zero, so the position equals zero. We're going to take that over, and we're going to add it to the variables that will change this section in the button code. And the code is always built the same way. We have this introductory section that talks about variables, talks about includes, and then we have a section underneath it that's the setup, and then the void loop. It's always built the same inside of Arduino. We'll go back over to our sweep side, you see it says void setup penguin attach 9. So that attaches our servo, which we've named penguin, to digital pin 9 on the Arduino. So we'll copy that, go back over, and we'll put that in right after this inside the code. Now you'll notice it has these little curly brackets here, and you see how it automatically sends the next one. we got to make sure we're inside those curly brackets. And you'll see you have the penguin attach nine, and then there's the semicolon at the end. That's the way that this code is structured. You'll get more accustomed to that as time goes along. We're not gonna to talk too much about syntax in this video, but do keep a close eye on how all this stuff comes together. So that is the variables that we've put in, and feel free to go in and change these variable names like we did in episode seven so that they become your own. And do also go in and change these comments as you go through it. Every time you start to understand what something is, and this says number of the LED pin, but we know that number 13 is the, pin, the light on the Arduino. Put these little comments in here to remind you of the things that you've learned. It's a great way of looking back and remembering how to do stuff. So now the last piece we've got to do, we're going to take this whole loop right here, this whole loop that takes the position of the servo and moves it back and forth and back and forth and we need to bring it over to the button. We're going to take a quick look at this piece of code to figure out where to put it. So it says void loop. This is in the loop is the, the action, the thing that's happening in the Arduino. If you look at it, it says read the state of the push button value. Button state, digital read, button pin. Now we know from up here that button pin, it, button state is zero. So the button state equals zero, that's fine. If the button is pushed, set the button state to high, right? So if the button is pushed, turn on the LED, digital right LED pin high. Now what we want to have happen, yes, turn on the LED pin, that's great when the button is pushed, but we also want the servo to turn. So we're gonna go over and grab all of this servo code all the way up here from this curly bracket all the way down to this curly bracket. Copy that out. We're going to go over here and put it in here. Yoink. So what that says is if the button station is high, so if we press the button, turn the LED pin on, that's fine, and then make our servo go round and round. And if that doesn't work, turn the light off. So if you, we're going to go ahead and save this as a new piece, save as button plus servo. And then we're gonna upload it to the system. We're gonna check it out later. Good luck.